Well, hey, what's up, YouTube? Everybody has been so excited lately about the release of the new Cambridge uh, Pit Minion in the New Living Translation. And what they're excited about with this particular volume is that, guess what? It comes in a blue calf split for, uh, to my knowledge, one of the first times, or, or at least I should say, more recent times that Cambridge has gone with color in any of their major uh, publications, including the Pit Minion, the Clarion, and the Wide Margin Edition. Yes, blue is the color, and we're going to have a look at that in just a moment. But first, a brief word about the New Living Translation. For some of you, uh, this is going to be amazing because you've been hoping for some premium Bibles in this particular translation. For others of you, you're not going to find yourself impressed because the New Living Translation is, of course, closer to the paraphrase end of the perspective as far as translations go, as opposed to, uh, you know, the ESV or the NASB or the New King James or something else like that. However, I did have a professor at Reformed Theological Seminary who's one of the foremost experts in biblical Hebrew, and he tells me and told the class in our class on the Psalms over and over again that the New Living Translation gets it right in many places that the ESV, a more literal translation, theoretically, often gets it wrong. And so he assured us as a class that the New Living Translation is not a paraphrase like its predecessor, the Living uh, Bible, but is in fact, in fact a very faithful rendering of the Hebrew and the Greek uh, languages. So, that being said, let's go ahead and have a look at the blue, shall we? Here it is. That's uh, a little bit bluer than I thought it might be. In fact, it might even be a little bit too blue for my personal preferences. Although, I would enjoy having a blue Bible in my collection. This is the first blue Bible I have believe it or not. And like most pit, pit minions, it's, it's a hand-sized Bible. It does come with one rather meager blue ribbon there for your uh, page marking enjoyment. And when we look up, look into the Bible, uh, we'll notice that it does have a black paste down liner, black paste down liner. Going to take some serious working through to get this Bible into a state of flexibility. You've probably seen my Pit Minion videos online, my crash tests where I take my ESV brown calf split and just, you know, just use it almost to, to tattered pieces. It is so soft and flexible now. But this Bible is a long way from that, and it's going to take quite a bit of time to get it in that kind of, uh, kind of shape. But nevertheless, what do you think? Isn't that a beautiful color? Hopefully it comes out well on the video for you to consider. Um, for me, um, the Pit Minion is a wonderful Bible because it's so small and handheld, and that's why I take it practically everywhere I go, into the hospital, on retreats, mission trips. I've taken my uh, ESV all over the world, as you probably already know from my travel log. Um, but it does have a very small font, and of course that's the big knock on the Pit Minion, is the font is so small that some of you are going to be ruled out automatically, just, you know, a priori, this Bible is not going to work for you because your eyes aren't going to tolerate such a small font. I wouldn't even try it if you have any problem with that. Thankfully for me, I have super sharp eagle eyes when it comes to close-up vision. Not so great when it comes to far vision. But it's a wonderful layout. It does have an amazing reference suite uh, right down the center. You'll find it's got all the references you're possibly going to need. This particular edition is a red letter, as you can tell. Um, but for me, I don't know that I'm ever really going to get too used to the New Living Translation. And I'll just show you a passage where, to me, I just like, I'm just like, ugh, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can NLT. Uh, it says, John 1, verse 1, In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, as faithful as that may be to the Greek, um, the word already existed. I just can't get out of my mind the, the King James tradition of in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And so for some of you, as you read the New Living Translation, it's going to open up vistas of understanding to you. For others of you, however, in more traditional translation traditions, you're going to find that to be stilted, weird, and problematic. So that's going to determine how much usage this particular Bible is going to get in my collection and I'm going to guess, for that reason, not much. I'm probably going to stick with my King James and my ESV. Um, but I do love this new color. Maybe you will, too. Maybe you like the New Living Translation better than I do. That's totally cool. Hey, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think of the blue. Tell me what you think of the New Living Translation. If you are interested in buying this Bible, 
there will be a link provided to you in the description of this video. So by all means, hop down there to Amazon.com. Uh, check it out. Go to Amazon. Go get one for yourself. Get yourself some Cambridge Blue, why don't you? And uh, while you're at it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this uh, video blog on my YouTube page. Love you lots. Thanks for checking in, and we will talk to you next time.